Peace. Hi everyone. Hi, Kathy Kathy. It's 2020 and we have another year to just get it all together. Starting out this year, I want to help us, help you all to stay focused and keep everything organized and in order. So when you need any information that you have, you can just go to your filing source and take it out or have it Bluetooth to another area in the sky. Okay, so I want to start with five things that we need to discuss when we go to the doctor's office. Five things that we need to talk about when we go to the doctor's office. Hmm. You thinking like I'm thinking? Yes, I know. You're thinking like I'm thinking. Okay, you know how sometimes you get the white coat syndrome. Once you get to the doctor's office, your heart starts beating. And before you know it, you have high blood pressure sitting right there in the doctor's chair, not doing a thing, but just worried because you're at the doctor's office. Well, I want to help you to relieve some of that nervousness and remember what you need to ask the doctor when you go on your visit. Just five things. Hi everyone. Hi, Happy New Year. It's 2020 and I'm not going to keep you long, but I want us to take this time out to take a little bit of notes and help us to stay focused and to be organized for 2020. Even when it comes down to our doctor's appointments, we need to know that we have doctor's appointments and if we have to take notes, jot down what we need to take and be ready for doctor's appointments. Because 2020, you want to make sure that you're in your best health ever. So, and being in your best health ever, you need to take care of yourself. You need to know the know, the new, and the new. And ask the doctor, you know, questions. If you cannot remember everything, take a list. Or send it to your air cloud. Put it on your phone or if you do not not allowed phones. And write it down on paper the old-fashioned way. But you know how it is when you get to the doctor's office and you get the white coat syndrome, your heart starts beating really fast. And then before you know it, you have high blood pressure. But this year, we want to try to alleviate some of that and stay on top of what even our doctors visit. Some years ago, I was at the doctor's office and I was trying to tell the doctor what was my ailments and what was happening and what was going on with me. And you know how you can like say, oh, it hurts right here. And then if you stand on it or you push it to the side of you, turn this way, it hurts. So I was trying to do all of that and explaining to the doctor how I was feeling. So you know what the doctor politely told me? The doctor said that, Listen, you're going to have to be your own advocate. Your problem that you have, you need to study it. Do some research on your own and find out what your problem. If you've been diagnosed with a disease or a certain ailment, then, hey, we have all this wealth, all this wealth of information on our computers and cell phones where we can just go and Google it. So easy, so simple, and it's so fast. And you Google your ailments and you find out what's going on. So the doctor told me that, and then the doctor said, the next time that you come in for your visit, you'll be better to explain what's going on, and then I can be better to help you with your situation. Well, with all that said, I took his advice and I looked up my condition. I went online. I researched the, the area that I was in the pain with or I had the most discomfort. And then all around that area, I began to research each bone and 
find out the proper name of the bone and how to pronounce it and what that bone function or that joint function does and how it affects my body and that area and the other joints in my body. So when I returned back to the doctor, it was so much easier for them to say, oh, it's the bone above the joint bone of the bone. I know. So my doctor was like, that's very good. Very, very good. So over the years, I have learned to just, just kind of like study that area and be a master of what is wrong with you. Okay, so five things we need to do when we go visit the doctor. Our number one thing is, okay, if you have a disease or ailment and it cannot be cured, but there could be procedures that could be done that could help you live a better quality of life. So my number one thing is, I like to ask the doctor, are there any new procedures that I may have missed doing my research that could help me with my specific problem? So number one is gonna be, ask the doctor, are there any new procedures or any new devices that you could try that will help improve your daily living quality of life number two you're going to ask the doctor is there any natural things that you can do to help your condition or disease is there something naturally that i could do any like exercise we all know that we're it's always good to exercise if you can exercise. So you want to ask the doctor, are there any natural things that you could do or try for your condition or disease, especially if it's chronic. We're talking about chronic conditions, chronic conditions. This also can be for your yearly checkup as well, too, with the the upkeep of your chronic condition and your best quality of life. Okay? Number three. You want to, especially if you have a good relationship with your doctor and you've been going to this specific doctor for a long time, you want to see what he thinks about you and what his advice is as a doctor if he does not say it you can ask is there something that you particularly recommend that i do in my condition for my disease or for my treatment that's number three is there any advice that he can recommend that you do for your condition or for your treatment to better your quality of life. Number four, you want to talk about something that's very um, needed to talk about. You want to talk about medications. Sometimes it's hard to talk about medications because you don't want to seem like you're one of those needy type patients. Or you maybe you don't like to take medications and maybe the doctor wants you to be on medications or maybe there's a medication out there that you haven't tried that can be totally workable for you now in 2020 so you want to talk to your doctor about your medications you want to ask the doctor is there any new medications that he would recommend that you try to help you have a better quality of life especially if it's a medication that you've been on for years and you think that not saying that you're getting immune to it or it's taking too much for you to get the same results that it did three years ago but you want to make sure that you have the best quality of life 
So you want to ask about is there a new improved medication that you can take that can be more helpful than what you're already taking or if you're tired of taking your medications you want to ask how could you not take medications and still have a good quality of life. Number five, you want to discuss with your doctor I would recommend that you discuss with your doctor, uh, other doctors that you see. If it's something that the two doctors are working together with, then you want to make sure that this doctor that you're talking to relays and emails the next doctor all your information that you all went over. You want to make sure that if you do not have a doctor that you do need to see that you get your referrals. If you need to see a podiatrist, then you need to ask the doctor, can you send over a referral for me? You know, recommend a podiatrist. Or if you do see a podiatrist, you want to make sure that your doctor's office send over your new diagnose and your your treatment plan that's very important that the two doctors kind of work together but you're the advocate in the middle to make sure that all the information get from one doctor to the other doctor to make sure that you have the better health in 2020 your health is something that we all should not sleep on but it's something that we should wake up early and discuss take notes, jot down, and keep records of. I know that a lot of you do, but there there are points where you need to refresh. You want to make sure that you're on top of your game with your medical records and your notes and, you know, all your labs and keeping up with the newest thing for you for better health in 2020. So that sums it up for my five things that we need to talk to the doctor, doctor about in our next visit to make sure that we have the best health in 2020. Yes, 2020. We're going to take care of ourselves and we're going to like jot everything down. If you don't do it on paper, then send it to the cloud. Okay, but we need to make sure that we continue to take care of ourselves in 2020. So number one, let's go to, through a quick review. Number one, first of all, we want to be truthful with what we're saying about ourselves when we go to the doctor. You, wanna, you don't want to make the doctor have a distrusting relationship with you. So you want to be truthful. And you want to make sure that you have everything that you need to tell him so you don't be misleading. Especially if it's a doctor that you like and you want to keep him and you want him to take care of you or help you take care of you. Be truthful. Okay, so number one, ask the doctor, is there any new procedures or is there anything new on the market, devices that could help you? improve your quality of life that's number one number two is there any natural things that you can take or do to help improve your quality of life for 2020 that's number two number three three is making sure that you and the doctor are on the same page of music just Asking a doctor what does he think is best and, you know, what did he recommend that you do for, to better your quality of life in 2020. Number four, you want to talk about medications. Is there a different medication on the market that can help you improve your quality of life in 2020? So number four is medications. Number five, 
to recap everything, number five is if you're up on the morning one doctor's care, making sure all the doctors have the same information about you so that it'll make it easier for you to go to the next doctor. Remember, we were talking about if you need a podiatrist. If you don't have one, you want to get referrals. And if you do have one, you want to make sure that all those medical records are transferred over to the next doctor's. So that's all five things that we need to take with us to our next doctor's visit in 2020 for better health. Okay, this is your girl, Cassie Cassie, and we got to take care of ourselves. And who better to know what's best for you is you. And for you to know what's best for you, sometimes you have to write it down the old-fashioned way. And if you're computer savvy and if you deal with your phone like a lot of people do, send it to the cloud. But make sure that you have it listed in your top five to do and taking care of yourself in 2020. And that's going to end my taking care of your best you in 2020. Peace. I'm going to stay in touch. I love you guys so much. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Push the like button. Share me with someone else. And leave comments so we can talk. Because in 2020, I need more subscribers. And I would like to go live so we can like talk like face to face. Okay, so... Peace. Love you all. Cassie Cassie.